We're Trent and Allie, and we've been building our cabin in the mountains for almost eight months, learning as we go and taking our time to get every detail right. No idea what I'm doing. But as spring approaches, we're speeding things up. In the last 48 hours, it snowed 12 inches. Spring is not here. Summer is right around the corner. It's so cold out here. And we only have one more step until our next inspection. And then? And then we'll be done. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it's the easiest way to help us out. And come along today as we get busy wiring up the final step. You are an electrician. I am an electrician. <laughs>
Brendan, I see we've acquired some treats. Channeling your inner Trent today. <laughs> a lot of uh, goodies. I knew Trent would appreciate those. <laughs> I just can't get over that no matter what we're doing and where we are, there's like a pantry area. And it's just so funny that Brandon has, has this too. You can tell Brandon and Trent are old friends that go way back because these are all Brandon's treats. And it's definitely something Trent would do is just start to like slowly, quietly stack treats in the background. <laughs> We still got to do the two stairs at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, we got to finish all the uh, rough makeup. And then we have to do the panel, which I think the panel will probably take like a day. Um, mm. After that, Kevin could probably come up and tell us all the things that are wrong and then we could start working <laughs> on that stuff. <laughs> this switch box right here is my final exam. This is like the hardest thing I've had to do so far. Um, there's a thousand wires coming into this box. There's two separate circuits. There's going to be a lot of wire nuts and a lot of wires. And I don't actually know if it's even going to work, but I'm going to do my best. And then we're done? Or is this just the hardest one, not, <clears throat> not the last one? Uh, once I'm done with this, the bathroom and the kitchen and the basement are done. Wow. And then we have four outlets and two switches here. Then we gotta do the stairs. Then we gotta do the bedroom upstairs. Nice. And then we're done. Cool. Today's the day. Kind of. Well, we still gotta do some stuff outside too. Trent. I can't say we're done with anything because it's just not true. So this is one of the more complicated boxes. There's gonna be three different three-way switches, one for the can lights in the kitchen, one for the pendant lights above the island, and one for under cabinet toe kick lights. And then there's also a porch light that goes over here. Now, I don't have any power for the porch light, so I have to steal power from these three-way switches, which is okay because I'm only wiring them as a traditional three-way to future-proof everything in case I wanna put regular three-way switches in. But I'm gonna be using smart three-way switches so basically the power is just gonna carry from over there and these are gonna be the actual switches. Those will be these smart uh, three-way fake relay, like remote switches. It's kind of hard to explain. And the red wires will just be not utilized until maybe if I wanna switch the switches out later. So I can steal power from one of these, use it on this switch. Basically it's just a nightmare. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't show any of those boxes too close. I don't need anybody that actually knows what they're doing picking my work apart, okay? I'm gonna have Tyrion come and check all this out to make sure you guys don't worry. There'll be no fires. Really the only reason that I'm totally okay with Trent and Brandon doing this on their own for their first attempt is that there's no electrical connected to the house. So right now they're just playing with dead wires. Nothing is live. Nothing is gonna spark or explode. If this house were already connected, it would be a very different story. I'll hook power up to this right now if you're doubting me. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> People are gonna be like, you should be using a razor blade to do that. But Tieran said that a razor blade always scores the wires. And then you have a fire and we're trying not to have any fires. I really appreciate the attempt at no fires. Thank you. I lost my sunglasses somewhere and I can't find them. So I'm wearing Trent's for right now, but they're like his old pair of work sunglasses. So there's scratches all over them and they're very hard to see out of, but it's so bright out. It's unbelievable. I think it's like 35 or 40 degrees, which for us is like nice and warm, even though there's a fresh foot of snow falling. So I guess uh, spring is coming. It's just a little bit different looking up here in the mountains. When we thought about getting a puppy, we were like, this is good timing, it's the spring. You don't wanna like have to potty train or housebreak a puppy in the dead of winter when it's freezing and tons of snow. So like right as it's turning into summer, that's a great time. And we'll get her super trained and adjusted before we move into the house. So if she destroys things, it'll be in Terry, which we're hoping she doesn't destroy anything, but it would be better to be in Terry than in the house. So there were a couple motivations for getting her now. And now it's like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> we're right back to winter. <laughs> What are you doing in here? Well, 
I've just been slaving away, making my fingertips hurt, trying to push all the wires and wire nuts into the boxes, and I had to come in here and get a snack. Of course. I don't know if you guys know what's up, but these 365 cinnamon rolls from Whole Foods, woo! <laughs> We've been trying to be pretty careful about when the puppies are in the house because we don't want Lika to get into anything she's not supposed to, but I think today is an easy day where we can uh, have her hanging out with us, right? By easy, she means really boring. It's a boring day. <laughs> really boring day. I, I'm just like pulling and stretching and cutting and twisting and pushing. So I think all of us are gonna head inside. videos are about a week and a half to two weeks delayed so today is actually the day we posted the video of us getting Lika and I'm just loving reading through all of your comments about different experiences having German Shepherds and Malinois someone just said that their German Shepherd used to put the laundry in the dryer for them which I think is definitely our, our new goal for Lika I don't even want her to go from the washer to the dryer I want her to do the whole process <laughs> you nicknamed me Cinderella <laughs> The fact that you guys are up there means everything from the stairs down is done, right? Honestly, mm -mm. <laughs> sunroom is done, basement's done, kitchen, bathroom, living room are done, stairs are done. Wow. Just have to finish this disgusting mess of bathroom, a handful of outlets in the bedroom, two fans. Exterior lights and the exterior things. And then and we'll be done. Rough makeup is done on fan number one. Don't do that up there. Be careful, just get down, Trent. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to show off my incredible balance, you know? Yeah. I know everybody with poor balance looks at me and says, that's dangerous, don't do that, but I was born for this. Just have one more thing to do. What's that? Well, I got a few more things to do. Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta do the rough makeup on the fan, and then everything under the roof is done. There's some stuff we gotta do outside, but everything under the roof will be done. This is my least favorite part. The transfer? Yeah. Perfect wow, throw. scary. <laughs> Perfect throw. I don't think people understand that we are trained professionals. <laughs> A lifetime of training, of throwing things back and forth with <laughs> young children. I think that does it for rough makeup inside the house. Wow, guys! That's amazing! Really, really exciting. Super exciting that Trent got all the rough makeup done in the house. We have a little bit more to do, but we have some other plans for the rest of today. Brandon took off and we're taking Lika to her first ever vet appointment. And this is a big deal because this is also one of the first few times she hasn't gotten car sick while driving in the car. Because originally, every time we got her in the car, there was puke everywhere within five minutes. We'd clean her up, we'd get back in the car, and five minutes later, there would be more puke. So this right here is a very good sign. Yeah, we were uh, really concerned at first because our lifestyle is uh, pretty mobile and on the go <laughs> and in vehicles pretty frequently, like the van or the truck or whatever. And the fact that she kept throwing up every time we would get in the car, I was like, oh, this <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Like, you gotta learn not to throw up. But I think it's just because she was kind of a young puppy and now she's got it figured out. Oh. 
three. Oh, she's a chunky girl. <laughs> uh, she was 15 pounds when we got her. <laughs> Center. Yes. Good girl. Down. Yes. It's so funny because I feel like most big dogs when they're puppies are like kind of lanky and all over the place and she's already like very coordinated, pretty agile and she like feels to me like, oh, she's just a big dog. So I always have to keep reminding myself, no, she's just a puppy. Hi there. Hi, Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, puppy. Yeah. That you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Oh, what a good girl! She's healthy, she's happy, she's doing great, and she's gonna be a big girl. <laughs> I'm really excited that the vet was saying that she's only gonna be 50 pounds, because I think that would be cool. But I think she's gonna be between 50 and 85 pounds. <laughs> I think she's gonna be big. And it's like always kind of nerve wracking to take your like dog to the vet and your just like have a, have a doctor inject and operate and do what they do, but uh, Lika handled it really well, and now she has her first round of vaccinations, and she's been dewormed, and everything's going great. We're gonna run a couple of errands, we're gonna head back to the house, and I think we'll catch you guys in the morning. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It's so cold out here! How you doing? It looks like a winter wonderland it's out still here. Winter. Lika slept through the night. My alarm went off before Lika started crying. It's a gorgeous day, even though it feels like zero degrees and winter all over again. Also, I know a lot of you guys have been curious about how Starlink has been working out for us, and a lot of people have probably been wondering, because we didn't really explain it, how it does in the snow. As you can see right here, do you see the little crater that's underneath the Starlink right there and how there's no snow on the Starlink? Well, that's because they anticipated people using it in areas where there's lots of snow and it has a heating element built in. So when the snow lands on it, it melts, it drips off. Also, the speeds have been really fast. We've had 30 to 40 megabytes, uh, megabits of upload. A lot of people got really mad that I mixed up megabits and megabytes because one is eight times larger than the other, so 40 megabits of upload has been pretty normal for us, and uh, the downloads have gone anywhere from 40 to like 100. So we've had really good luck uploading and downloading and everything. And so if you guys are wondering, we love Starlink. And today we're gonna finish electrical, right? Maybe. <laughs> when lights go out You're in So since today is probably going to be a really tough day, especially mentally, I think Allie actually went inside to whip us up some food. I'm going to start tackling this panel and if this looks intimidating to you guys, just know it's intimidating to me as well, but it's just like we do everything else, one step at a time.
One of the hardest things recently, especially about having Lika here with us, is that in the mornings we're really focused on training her and being with her when she's got a ton of energy and we need to channel that energy into something constructive. So we've been skipping breakfast, which is not a great idea for us. It makes us both very hangry. So this morning, Lika is exercised, Frank is exercised, Trent is getting to work, and I'm gonna make some breakfast. starving. It looks like you have a loaf of bread right there. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast burritos. Yes! One for you. Fantastic, thank you. And uh, one for you. Oh boy. Mm. Those are farm fresh eggs. Mmm. Right from the farm. From the chickens that we helped raise. So before, <clears throat> all the cables just looked like this. Right. And now they're stapled Beautiful. to this board here and they've got RC connectors. After I'm done with that, I can start stripping all the sheathing off and I can start running all the grounds to the ground bar. And then I can actually start installing the breakers and cutting the cables to proper length and uh, installing them on the breakers. And you're gonna label everything. Usually you label the door to mark um, each breaker, which would have yeah. okay. But um, As long as it's not eventually gonna be musical chairs trying to figure out what goes to what, turning Lights off. Hey, and... honey! Yeah. <laughs> Is that the one? Is the outlet turned it's... off? <laughs> it's the disposal. And you're like, yeah, it did. And then I go open the outlet. Ah! <laughs> yeah. the not off. yeah, let's prevent that. <laughs> now comes one of those times in a project where you give up. You get in really deep. <laughs> so I'm about to get in really deep. Mounting these cables, trying to make it look pretty. It doesn't actually look pretty, but I tried. Uh, getting all the connectors mounted in here. And now I basically have to start stripping the sheathing and the paper off of all of these cables. And the first thing is to run all of the grounds over to the ground bar. Well, they're getting some work done. Let's check on these puppies. We've been trying to be really intentional about integrating Lika into our family, into kind of like our pack, and uh, the vet actually had some really good advice for us. She said, the puppy is always wrong. So when they're interacting, when Lika and Frank are playing together, and something happens, it's never Frank's fault. It's always Lika's fault, and you just want to remove the puppy from the situation if it's bad enough to be removed, which Frank is actually super gentle and has been really nice with her. He'll like growl a little bit if she's really annoying him, but he'd never do anything crazy. And you're always right, Frank. You're always right, yes. All right, guys, some time has passed. We are still in the basement chugging away. I've got all of the ground wires separated from all the Romex cables and I've got them all put into the ground bar. So all the Romex comes in here, it's attached with the RC50 connectors. All of the neutrals and hot lines have come out this direction. Now all of the grounds are basically wound up and then inserted into the ground bar here. This is some like hard, tedious work. And again, if I haven't said this enough in the past like week, I don't think that electricians get enough credit. I think they have the hardest job. Now, if you're one of the other trades, don't kill me, but I think electricians do have the hardest job. <laughs> Pretty breakers.
Okay, so I know it goes without saying, but you should never try this at home. Anything you see me do, you should just understand that I am crazy. You should <laughs> never do anything that I do. Um, we've got this pigtail wired up right here. I'm gonna unplug this. It's gonna turn off the lights. <sighs> this extension cord is coming from our service power entry. And we've hooked up this pigtail here and it's going to energize the panel. You should also never energize the panel if you don't have the cover on it because you can shock yourself or you could be hurt. Um, there's a very small amount of current going through the panel. I'm just setting this up to see if this pigtail being plugged in here and then turning on this breaker will turn on the furnace. And I've got to go look for a little red light. We could look here. It's not working. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> so, hooking that up like that, uh, just tripped the breaker. Odds are the electricity coming through the electrical cord all the way up and being connected to the panel, uh, basically plugging that in and like energizing the panel probably kind of sends a surge of electricity. That or there's a wire that's grounded somewhere that I don't know about. <sighs> Either way, gotta go and trip the reset the breaker now. The one out in the street. There he goes. <laughs> okay, we're having some technical difficulties, but it's nothing we can't solve, eventually. The breaker has tripped a couple more times. I've run down, Trent's run down. We've flipped the breaker, reset everything, and uh, we're gonna try it one more time and see if Trent has figured out the solution. It's my fault, whatever it is, it's definitely my fault. It's not like when we were filling up the water heater and we turned on the water and like the water shut off. It's not like the neighborhood electrical is out. This is, no, this is my fault. So here we go, this is the last, the last try. I think the polarity in our pigtail was incorrect, so. Where's the light? Uh, right here. <laughs> you are an electrician. I am an electrician. I knew that there was, yeah. I knew there was something wrong and I fixed it and it worked. All right, so we have the panel energized and the only breaker that's on is the breaker that is going to the furnace. And I've just kicked the furnace on to make sure there's no issues. It looks like everything's good. It's a little nerve wracking because if like a breaker trips or something goes faulty and uh, let's just say it stops working in the middle of the night, it's cold enough right now that like our pipes could freeze. And so that's a big deal. And we've been running the furnace to make sure the house stays warm enough that the pipes don't freeze. We only keep it at like 45 and that's the lowest that the thermostat will go. But um, yeah, here's to hoping everything's good. It's a little early, it's only like 4.30, so it's not their dinner time at all yet, but we only had one meal today, so we're hungry. So I think we're gonna wrap up the day with a little bit of an early dinner. Can I just say I love your beard being trimmed like that? Aww. You look so cute. Thanks. We're having one of your favorites. Bruschetta. Ah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had some bruschetta. I know, it's time. All that ever was is served. For those of you that have been around for a long time, you know this is kind of like our staple go-to bruschetta. We used to eat it for dinner, not like as a side, but just for dinner a lot in the van, like almost <laughs> every night because it's super easy and it's super refreshing. The recipe is in our cookbook, which we will have linked somewhere. If they're mm. not perfect, don't tell me. If they're not perfect. <laughs> Not so, if they're not perfect, they're pretty darn close. Oh, nice. My if 
I kind of got choked They're up. not perfect. Oh, I'm just great. so emotional about the bruschetta. <laughs> I got a little choked up. I think that's probably going to do it for us today. We did make huge leaps and bounds with the electrical system. I just have to pick up a couple more breakers, get them installed. And then we actually got the stairs finished. Like there's maybe like, there's a couple things I have to do before four way, but I think we're going to call Kevin and see if he can come up. And in the next video, you guys will see him tearing apart our work <laughs> and telling us all the things that we did wrong. I hope not, but that could happen. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Today and not tomorrow.